Thank you for joining me on my learning journey. Today we are going to be talking about how you can form traps to make your opponent, um, to kind of slow your opponent down and stop them from reaching the end position that they want to reach, which is, you know, a queen in the center, six guards around it. So we talked about basic movement and about the goal of the game. And now I want to go over how we can stop the opposing player from reaching that goal. And that is by making traps. One of the ways you can do that is by making traps. So how do we make a trap and what does a trap look like? So I like to think of a trap as like an electric barrier. So say this is here, this is here, and then blue is here. See that blue moves in here. Red can now make a little electric barrier here and blue has to move back one band. So we did talk about how um, when it comes to movement, a player cannot move backwards. They can only move in their band or forward one band. When the only exception to that, like I said, other, unless otherwise specified, that unless otherwise specified is mostly talking about traps. So when you are in a trap, you have to move outside one band. So if, uh, let's say here, right like this. So say red moves here. Would this be a valid move? No, it would not because they're not moving out of the band. Another thing, is this a trap? No, it is not. It needs to be, you know, three hexagons, a straight line right there. And also, I also want to go over how to announce a trap. So the way you announce a trap is either after you formed it, so after red goes like this, they can announce trap, and the other player has to make that, has to move it out on the next turn. Or if a player does not notice that they're in a trap, say blue does not notice that they're in a trap, they can just move another piece, but then once they pass, pass the flag card, red can now say, you were in a trap, um, please like, move out of that trap. And so while red still has the flag card, blue would have to move this piece back and then red would complete their regular turn. And then on blue's next turn, they would have to move the blue out of the trap. So they're essentially like losing a turn. Blue would have to move out of that trap. Is this challengeable? No, it is not. Um, if after announcing the trap, the player does not move it out at first, that is just, the monitor just has to make sure that they do that. It is not challengeable. And what happens if the queen is trapped? So imagine this is here, this is here, red just moves it in there. Now blue, the queen, has to go back to its starting position whenever it is trapped. And can a queen be used to form a trap? Yes, absolutely. A queen can be used to form a trap. It, it, it just has to be two blue pieces. So if red moves here, you know, a, tr a trap can be formed with um, a queen. What happens if there are multiple traps? So let me create one of those scenarios here where there will be multiple traps, say, uh, this is here, this is here. Now let's say that red moves right there. Now there are two, red is trapping blue in two places. So blue gets to choose, do I wanna move this guard out first or that guard out first? But if a queen is one of the pieces that is trapped right here, I'm gonna move that blue somewhere else. Imagine that the queen and a guard are trapped. Then the queen always has to go back first. And then on the next turn, 
they would have to move this out unless red already you know moved the trap the piece that was forming the trap away so if it's still trapped then you have to move it out all right so that's it for this video thank you for joining me to recap we just talked about um traps moving a trap piece announcing a trap what happens if there are multiple traps and then in the next video we'll be talking more about about um moving into a trap what happens if a trap is blocked and all those stuff and we're going to be going more into some of the rules i'll really appreciate it if you leave your comments feedback further suggestions for additional learnings and questions below and i'll see you in the next video